Hello and welcome to Bunkum Monthly. We're here at the beautiful Botanical Gardens at UNCA to let you know all about upcoming county-sponsored events. Now, just so you know, all the information that I give you in today's episode can be found online at our website at buncombecounty.org. Another great resource for upcoming county-sponsored events is by subscribing to our online magazine, Buncum Ezine. To catch this episode again or to watch any of BCTV's original programs, visit buncombecounty.org slash bctv or check out our YouTube page at buncombecounty.org slash YouTube. Now normally when you think of recycling, you think of plastic bottles, aluminum cans, and those green bins. Well, Asheville Greenworks wants to broaden your recycling horizons to include tires. So if you have any old tires lying around, Tire Amnesty Day is coming up and you can recycle them for free. It's taking place on Saturday and Sunday, May 16th and 17th at the Sears parking lot at the Asheville Mall, which is at 1 South Tunnel Road from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Rather than let those old tires get dumped in your backyard, contaminating your soil, groundwater, and being breeding grounds for mosquitoes, or having to drive out to the landfill to recycle them, which you can do for free every year for 10 tires, just bring them to the Asheville Mall for free recycling. This program is a partnership with Buncombe County Solid Waste. For more information about the event or for more information about all of the upcoming events from Asheville Greenworks, visit AshevilleGreenworks.org or call 828-254-1776. Have you ever thought about donating blood? Well, did you know that only 38% of the U.S. population is eligible to donate blood, but less than 10% actually do? Blood supplies are always needed, and Buncombe County wants to help the Red Cross fill up their banks with an upcoming blood drive. It will take place on Friday, May 29th from 10 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. at Pack Memorial Library. Here are some blood donation facts you probably didn't know. The blood type most often requested by hospitals is type O. Do you know your blood type? More than 41,000 blood donations are needed every day. A single car accident victim can require as many as 100 pints of blood. And 30 million blood components are transfused every year in the United States. So if you're interested in saving a life, please visit redcross.org, put in the sponsor code Buncombe County, one word, or call 1-800-733-2767 to schedule your appointment. Well, now that it's May, it's time to start storing away those winter coats and start breaking out those bathing suits. And Buncombe County Parks and Rec want to help you with one of their outdoor pools. They have five outdoor pools located conveniently across the county. Pools will begin opening on weekends beginning Memorial Day weekend, but will not open on weekdays until school gets out. The five outdoor pool locations are Cane Creek at 590 Lower Brush Creek Road in Fletcher, Irwin Pool at 58 Lees Creek Road in Candler, Hominy Valley Pool at 25 Twin Lakes Road in Candler, North Buncombe Pool at 892 Clark's Chapel Road in Weaverville, and the Owen Pool at 117 Stone Drive in Swannanoa. For more information about the pool schedule, their hours of operation, and the dates that each pool will officially open, contact Lynn Pegg at 828-250-6707 or email parks at buncombecounty.org. If you're looking to add a new four-legged member to your family, look no further than the Asheville Humane Society. They have plenty of adoptable dogs and cats like this kitten here who are in need of a good home. Now when you adopt from the Asheville Humane Society, not only are you saving a life, but all of the pets have been spayed, neutered, received their shots, and some basic training. Plus throughout the entire month of May, all dog adoptions are only $9.99. The Asheville Humane Society is dedicated to promoting the compassionate treatment of animals in our community through education, sheltering, and adoption. Come visit the Asheville Humane Society's Adoption Center at 14 Forever Friend Lane, just south of the Farmer's Market, to see all of the wonderful animals we have for adoption. These two cuties are Daryl and Maggie. They're domestic short hair kittens. They're about eight weeks of age and, well, what can you say? Kitten season's here. They do need to go in pairs. Weasleys, 
a five-year-old pit mix, and this little boy is heartworm positive, and so he needs someone who can stay with him during his treatments that we will provide. Scooter is a domestic short-haired female, and this little girl is 16 years old, and just look at those beautiful green eyes, my goodness. Matilda is a female shepherd mix, and she's only a year old, and she could use some play buddies. Boo Boo is a domestic short-haired male. He's only three years old, and he is so calm and collected. Spot is a little female two-year-old pit mix, and uh, we're told she does really well with children. This beautiful trio is three domestic short-haired calico females. They're about eight weeks old, and they are ready to go home. Lightning is a 12-year-old male hound mix, and at 12, he's just looking for a place to call home. Misty is a domestic short hair female, five-year-old, and she is super smart and she can even high-five. Bradley is a 10-month-old pit mix, and just look at those sweet eyes. My goodness, you know you want to take him home. To reach the Asheville Humane Society, you can call us at 828-761-2001, or to view all of our available animals for adoption, visit our website at AshevilleHumane.org. Well, if you love gardening, or if you're new to gardening, then the Office of Cooperative Extension of Buncombe County is a great resource for you. Not only do they have a Master Gardener hotline that you can call with any of your gardening questions, but they sponsor many education classes throughout the year. One coming up is a backyard composting demonstration. It will take place on Saturday, May 23rd from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. beside Jesse Israel Garden Center at 570 Brevard Road in Asheville. This is a free class where you'll learn how to make black gold from your yard and kitchen waste. Check out several composting setups, ask questions, and get a sample of a finished product. For more information, you can call the Office of Cooperative Extension, including their Master Gardener hotline at 828-255-5522, or you can visit buncombemastergardener.org. If you've ever lived through anything as life-changing as cancer, Studies have shown that you can live a happier and healthier life if you can share your story with others who have gone through the same experience in a support group setting. Well, Mission Health wants to help you by offering these support groups. One of them is called In Good Company, and it's for breast cancer, and it meets monthly. The next meeting will take place on Thursday, May 21st from 5.30 to 6.30 p.m. They typically meet on the third Thursday of each month. It will take place at the SECU Cancer Center, located at 21 Hospital Drive in room R120. Support groups may include education, behavioral training, and group interactions. They are important because studies show that when breast cancer patients have emotional support, it's easier to handle their health situation, and it can reduce fear, stress, anxiety, and help promote healing. For more information about the In Good Company Cancer Support Group or for more programs from Mission Health, visit mission-health.org. Well, the Buncombe County Public Library System has a summer reading program every year to help keep kids interested in reading throughout the summer schoolless months. Every year they have a theme, and this year's theme is Every Hero Has a Story. The summer reading programs typically begin once school gets out and features everything from book clubs to performances to fun learning activities and much more, and they take place at every branch library throughout the summer. The more events you attend, the more stickers you collect, and the more stickers collect, the more you can exchange them for books. They will start the festivities on Saturday, May 30th at 10 a.m. at the South Asheville Oakley Library with a kickoff party. You'll be able to hang out with Buncombe County superheroes, firefighters, farmers, and police officers. For more information and to keep up with all of the summer reading program events, visit buncombecounty.org library. And as you can tell from the last story, the library isn't just a quiet place to check out a book and read. They sponsor many great events throughout the year for every age and interest. And here are a few of them coming up. On Tuesday, May 19th at 6 p.m., the North Asheville Library is hosting Bee City USA. Phyllis Stiles, director of Bee City USA program, will explain the creation of the Bee City USA and discuss topics vital to the program, such as the importance of creating sustainable habitats for honeybees and pollinators. 
On Wednesday, May 20th at 3.30 p.m., Pack Memorial Library is hosting a Makers and Shakers Good Vibrations, an introduction to Angora goats and fiber arts. Marsha Kumerle of Good Vibrations in Barnardsville will visit with a couple of kid goats. You'll see the goats, experience the wonders of mohair, and learn to finger knit. Also at Pack Memorial Library on Tuesday, May 26th at 3 p.m., experience a music antique concert. This concert will feature music from the 13th through 20th centuries, covering European composers from Poland to Spain. It will be an afternoon of music, comedy, poetry, and dance. Performers will present in costume on replicas of a wide variety of early musical instruments. The best part? The concert is free and everyone is invited. Also on Tuesday, May 26th at 4 p.m., the Weaverville Library is hosting a yoga and stretching for kids class. Recommended for kids ages 4 to 9, wear comfortable clothing and bring your own yoga mat, or you can borrow one of theirs. This free class will be taught by registered yoga instructor Ruth Van Sickle of Weaverville Yoga. Now those were just a few of the library events coming up in May. If you'd like to see the full list, make sure to visit buncombecounty.org library. They have a calendar online there that talks about all of their events and shows all of their story time hours. You can also call 828-250-4700 for more information about any library program for you and your family. Buncombe County Parks and Rec are really proud of their Sand Hill Community Garden. And if you've never been to a community garden, or if you've never even heard of a community garden, you should check it out. They have a volunteer recruitment potluck coming up that's a perfect opportunity. It's going to take place on Sunday, May 31st from 4 to 6 p.m. You'll learn how you can help in the garden and grow fresh produce for you and your family. Existing garden members will be there with fresh produce and you are welcome to bring a dish to share. The Sand Hill Community Garden is located at the Buncombe County Sports Park on Sand Hill Road in the West Asheville Candler area, and this will be its fourth growing season in operation. For more information about the event, contact Lynn Pegg with Buncombe County Parks and Rec at 828-250-6707 or email parks at buncombecounty.org. Now normally when you think of the Habitat for Humanity, you think of volunteering to build a house. And that's good, you should think of that. In fact, you should volunteer if you don't. But have you ever heard of the Habitat Restore? Well, if you've never been, a great time to check it out is coming up because the entire store will be 25% off. Best of all, purchases help benefit the Habitat for Humanity. The spring sale will take place on Saturday, May 16th from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. And the Restore is located at 31 Meadow Road in Asheville. All store merchandise will be 25% off. This includes furniture, housewares, appliances, building materials, antiques, and much more. 98.1 The River will also be broadcasting live from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m., and free hot dogs and soft drinks will be served from noon to 2 p.m. For more information about the Asheville Habitat for Humanity or the ReStore, please visit AshevilleHabitat.org, or you can call the ReStore at 828-828. 254-6706. Well, the Buncombe County Sheriff's Office, the Buncombe County Department of Health, and the Asheville Humane Society all want you to help keep rabies out of our community. You can do that by keeping your pet's vaccination up to date. If you're worried about the cost, don't be because they are offering a low-cost rabies vaccination clinic, and it's coming up. The low-cost rabies and vaccination clinic will take place on Sunday, May 31st from 1 to 5 p.m. at Petnax, which is 2194C Smoky Park Highway in Candler. You can get one- and three-year vaccines, Bordetella and Kennel Cough, DAPP, FELV, and even microchipping for the low cost of $15. For more information, call the Buncombe County Sheriff's Office Animal Services Division at 828-250-6430 or you can visit buncombecounty.org slash sheriff. Have you ever considered yourself a crime stopper? Well, you should. All you have to do is keep your eyes open for this month's Mountains Most Wanted. Who knows, you could get a cash reward. Buncombe County Crime Stoppers is an important program that allows you, the citizens of Buncombe County, to partner with law enforcement to help keep our community safer. Your anonymous calls are very important tools to help us locate people who are wanted by authorities. 
I also want to personally thank you for making Crime Stoppers the most watched program on Buncombe County TV. Here are a few subjects we're looking for right now. Michael Jeremy Payne is wanted for intoxicated and disruptive behavior, possession of less than a half ounce of marijuana, possession of drug paraphernalia, possession of methamphetamine, conspiracy to obtain property by false pretense, and 12 counts of possession of a stolen firearm. Payne is a white male with brown hair and brown eyes. He is 5 foot 10 and weighs 185 pounds. His last known address, 20 Davidson Drive, Asheville. Archie Dean King III is wanted for Possession with the intent to manufacture, sell, and deliver a Schedule II controlled substance and selling and delivering a Schedule II controlled substance. King is a black male with black hair and brown eyes. He is 5 foot 11 and weighs 235 pounds. His last known address, 3189 Sweeten Creek Road, apartment 13. If you know the location of any of the mounts most wanted, you could receive a cash reward. All you have to do is email tips at buncombecounty.org or you can call Crime Stoppers at 828-255-5050. With your help, we can continue to make Buncombe County a safer place to live, work, and play. Every year, the ACL, or the Administration for Community Living, wants to remind you that May is Older Americans Month. And every year they have a great theme. This year's theme is Get Into the Act. This year is honoring the 50th anniversary of the Older Americans Act. Older Americans Month focuses on how older adults can take charge of their health, getting engaged in their communities, and making a positive impact on the lives of others. So if you're part of the aging population of Buncombe County, a great resource for you is the Council on Aging of Buncombe County. They sponsor many programs, post volunteer opportunities, and host some great classes for you. Check out their website at coabc.org and explore it a little to see what opportunities are out there for you. You can also give them a call at 828-277-8288. Because renovations have begun at the Health and Human Services building at 40 Cox Avenue in downtown Asheville, the parking situation and the main entrance have changed. Free parking for Buncombe County Health and Human Services is available during the hours of 7.30 a.m. and 5 p.m. in the lot next to the downtown bus station, which is directly across the street from 40 Cox Avenue. The new parking entrance can be accessed at the intersection of Aston Street and Cox Avenue. Handicap parking spaces and a bike rack are available on Aston Street right next to the building. The new front entrance is also located now on Cox Avenue directly across the street from the bus station. For more information about the construction or where you should go for your health and human services needs, visit buncombecounty.org HHS or call 828-250-5500. Well, thank you for watching and thank you for joining us at the beautiful Botanical Gardens, Buncombe County. Like I mentioned earlier in the episode, if you want to catch this show again or read any of the information that I've said in this episode, just visit our website at buncombecounty.org. If you'd like to watch this program again or see any of BCTV's original programs, visit buncombecounty.org slash BCTV. You can also watch our channel live whenever you like by visiting bctv2.pegstream.com. Again, thank you for watching and have a great warm May, Buncombe County.